We are going to work to solve this uh, system of equations right here. And notice this is a nonlinear system. You know, I have the x squared and the y squared. Um, so I'm, I'm not going to throw it into a matrix. I'm just going to just going to try and solve it. And um, I can't just add and have anything cancel out in this one. So what I'm going to have to do is solve for one of the variables and then substitute it in. So let me add y to both sides. So I know that x is equal to y plus 4. And if I know that x is equal to that, then I can take that and I can plug it into the x spot in the other equation. So this, I could rewrite this as, this says x squared. Well, x is just y plus 4. So that's y plus 4 squared uh, plus y squared equals 58. 58. So I'm going to square this. Uh, and at, when I'm squaring this, remember squaring means times itself. So this is uh, y plus 4 times y plus 4 which is y squared, so there's a y squared, 4y and 4 more y, so plus 8y, and then 4 times 4 is 16. That's what this is. It's still plus, uh, it's still, sorry, let me erase that. It's still plus y squared, and it's still equal to 58. I can combine some like terms. I got two y squareds now. And now I have a quadratic, so I want to get it equal to 0 and then try and solve it. So I'll subtract 58 from both sides. So that leaves me uh, 2y squared plus 8y minus 42 is 0. And I'm going to try and factor this. I could run it through quadratic formula right now if I wanted, uh, but that seems like a lot of work. I'm going to factor out a 2. y squared plus 4y minus 21. I'm going to factor this part that's left. Uh, 7 and negative 3 multiplies the negative 1, 21 adds to 4. So I'm going to have y uh, plus 7 times y minus 3. These things multiplied together give me 0, so either this has to be a 0, or this has to be a 0. 2 isn't 0. So I have some uh, things that y could be. So now what I can do is I can plug those back in to get my x values for when y are these values. So when y is negative 7, I'm just going to plug it into here. Um, x minus negative 7 equals 4. That means x plus 7 is 4. So I'll subtract 7 from both sides. x is negative 3. So one of my solutions is um, that point right there, when x is negative 3, y is negative 7. And I'm going to take that 3, plug it in. I'll plug it into the same equation. x minus y, 3, is 4. And uh, add 3, or you can just see it, x is 7. So when x is 7, y is 3. And there are my two solutions to, uh, to this.